I'm Imen El Karoui. I'm working here in Paris in the Institute de le, du Cerveau et de la Moelle Épinière. Uh, so it's a um, neuroscience institute and I'm working on cognitive neuroscience and more precisely on how you make choices and um, how your preference are changing based on your choices. There is a whole process of decision making that is studied in cognitive neuroscience. So we both look at your behavior and also at uh, neural basis of uh, this behavior. And we try to understand uh, how you make choices. And what I'm particularly interested in is that uh, when you make a choice between two alternatives that you equally like, uh, actually what happens is that you are actually going to change your, uh, the way you rate these items. So typically, if I ask you to choose between wine and coffee and you like wine and coffee as much, what is going to happen after your choice is that if I'm asking you how much do you like coffee and you choose coffee, you're going to tell me, oh, I like it really, really much, really a lot. Whereas the wine that you actually rejected during your first choice, you're going to tell me, yeah, well, I don't like it that much. So uh, this is what I'm interested in and how you go from this choice that you make and how the, can it impact your preferences and the way you actually represent this wine and coffee and how this can change. There is no bad and good choice. It's just uh, your choices are actually um, uh, influencing your subsequent behavior. So it's, it's not that there is a good one or a bad one. It's just you're changing all the time. Contrary to actually what economics are saying, that the preferences are very stable, what we show in psychology is that it's not that stable and it evolves in time because of your previous behavior. And you try to be basically quite consistent with yourself. So this is what we see. A big field of research is really how you make decisions. So, so the basic theory is that you have preferences and subjective evaluation of items and you're going to make your choices based on this. The particular topic that I'm interested in is sort of the reverse way, so how your choice influences your preferences. And this is uh, well studied in psychology, and this actually um, influences uh, marketing uh, people and also educational people. So I think it's indeed quite important that researchers come to the public and uh, sort of popularize their research, as the day, <laughs> the, to the, the workshop was called, uh, because uh, it's usually sort of not well interpreted what we find because it's very subtle <laughs> things that we're interested in. And so if, if it's not popularized correctly, uh, then you can have some very broad interpretation that are actually completely contradictory to the actual result that you, that you have. So it's quite important that we can communicate with everyone so they actually understand the subtleties but also the actual results that we have. So uh, it's, it's quite, and also I think the interaction on the other side, on the other direction from society to research is also very important because this is basically how we define our goals and our research team based on, in psychology is really true on your everyday behavior and on your everyday experiment experience. So uh, it's really a both direction that I'm really interested. My expectation were, were that we were learning how to properly communicate uh, to a very global audience and uh, not just very tiny <laughs> little field that we are working in. Uh, because this is what we usually do. So I have the chance to go to a lot of conferences, which is really cool. But in a sense, it's always neuroscientists at best, or even more precisely, people who are working on the same field as I am. So here I was uh, really expecting to talk to other people. And I think it's a very cool experience that contrary to the other conference that, I'm, uh, that I went to, you have like very different fields like going from climate change to neuroscience and so it's really it's really nice to hear about all these things and um, so I think it's we also with all the tricks that we had like the metaphors and everything it sort of teaches us how to like step back a little bit and like take the global picture of what we are working on and so uh, I think it was quite cool.